Hunting is a lifestyle to me. Friendship, camaraderie. It's me keeping dogs for 365 days a year and maybe I get to go hunting 60 days. You know, it doesn't take much to make me happy, but Mother Nature surely does. I'm Kevin Murphy, a small game hunter. I grew up on uh, the lake shore of the Cumberland River, which forms Barkley Lake. We are on the outskirts of, of Burning Springs, Michigan, but we're in the very lower end. It's only a short seven hour drive from my house. And uh, I've been coming up here, this is I think my seventh year out of the last eight years, hunting with new friends, old friends. Uh, we've got a, a very good rabbit population up here. It's very strong from year to year. Our season back in Kentucky goes out uh, February the 10th. Uh, so here it is about March the 10th. So a month later, I'm still rabbit hunting. To that flame. We're at the period in time that we want to pass it on. Mm -hmm. You know, bring a young hunter in or an older hunter, somebody that quit hunting. And small game is the easiest way to do that because all you need is a single barrel shotgun or a rifle, a box of shells, and that's it. All right, we're tuning there. The orchestra is getting ready to start. We blow the horn to give all the critters Fair warning. Fair warning there. So the new hunter blows the horn, so we're gonna let Miss Amber start us off with a little horn blow. <laughs> very good for a first timer. Very, very good. So they've been warned if they get killed. It's their fault. It's gonna be fast and furious. We got rabbits everywhere. Did you get him, Dave? Good. First rabbit of the day. I got him. Dave, are you gonna carry it for me? You know I got a bad knee. I'm the oldest dude out here. <laughs> um, one time in my life, I just hunted all the time. Good, bad, or ugly. Uh, I'm a little bit more particular these days. My knees are wore out, so I just try to pick the golden days. I don't have an uh, uh, eight to four job, nine to five, so my free time is there. So I just, it's not a job. You know, some hunters go at it like a job but uh, my job phase is, is over. It's enjoyment. And seeing maybe the young guy or young girl kill a rabbit or a squirrel for the first time. So what they will usually do after you jump them up, they'll want to try, to, as thick as this is, they'll want to try to circle back in. He's out in front of the dog, so just kind of look out this way right here. Come right through here, so just kind of, kind of watch for movement. You might see his tail first, or whatever. Usually he'll hop, and then he might just stop for a minute. Then he might hop again. So. Now, they're circling back to the left now, so maybe they'll, maybe he'll make a run in here. They come around, and they're coming right here. This is us right here, so they're just in line with us. You know, he may stay over there. If he hears any talking, he's smart enough that he's coming. I hear him, I think. There he goes, there he goes, he's moving. Check it, check it. Okay. He's on the other side. He'll be coming to that hole. He may have got him. We don't know. Come right over here. I didn't either. I think you got him. You seen? No. 
I don't know if he's going to come back out here and come around. I think we need to be back up there where we were. Up there? Mm -hmm. Right here in front of him. Right there, see? In between those two trees. All right, going to have to load back shells. up. I thought that was dog, a dog for a second. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> All right, okay. Now you got to do the crawl to get in there and get it. It, it kind of hardens my heart when I see some commercial on TV or some article and it beats down hunters. And they put us as this bloodthirsty, group of people that all we've got to do is we want to go out and kill some kind of animal, put it on Facebook, put it in the back of our pickup truck and show it off and just come and spend a day with me and I will change your mind and, and people that hunt with me will change your mind because it's a lot more than that. It's starting the morning with a good breakfast, a good meal, uh, fellowship, sportsmanship, handling the dog, shooting, seeing mother nature, it's, it's a full course meal, 24 hours a day. As the older you get, and the more that you are a hunter, you realize that it is all of these parts put together that makes you a whole hunter.